Hi, it's Faceless Tech. Got a bit of a strange project here for today for you. It's a 100% analog project. And I say that because normally I've got like an Arduino or some other uh, microprocessor running the show, but this time it's 100% analog, right? Uh, just with some transistors. What it is, is basically, I don't know if you've heard about them, but there's like bristle bots, which are like, you can, which are like homemade um, hex bugs, if you've seen them, for like kids basically just have a pager motor coin cell battery and then they have like feet on them the hex bugs do like rubber feet and then you just turn them on and they just run across and you can get like ones that look like bugs and you know you can get them to scare people and all that kind of stuff but these are basically just the homebrew um equivalent of them um what i've what got here is uh it's got two pager motors it's basically two bristle bots if you cut this in half it would independently work but basically it's just got two bristle bots um, we've got a transistor here, which is controlled by um, a light, um, uh, a uh, light dependent resistor. Get me words out. Um, got some LEDs here to show that when it is actually the motors are activated, just for a bit of feedback for the kids. Um, it's got a lipo battery. It's only a 25 mil, 20, uh, 250 milliamp hour battery, but I'm not sure how long it lasts for. And then uh, I've just got a connector so you can pull it off, charging it via one of these. Oops. One of these super cheap um, chargers. Just charge it off that. All right, I'll give you a quick demo. It's got a torch here. As you can see, you turn it on and it's tuned with the potentiometers so that when it's in normal light, that it won't activate. As soon as the light bright source is brought near it. The only thing about it is it doesn't actually go straight when both are on, <laughs> just comically, but if you do, look if you have one it will actually turn you can see that so you can like you could control it around a track if you really wanted to set like an obstacle course up or something um as you can say it is just a hundred percent analog it's a bit strange really because normally um there's a pcb for it because normally See, you have an error. You know, sometimes you can fix it in code, or you can fine tune it in code, or whatnot. But with this, I had to work, and I had to work right. And luckily for me, it did because I only did, I only made up half the circuit to test it, and I thought well, there was no point in making up the other half because, you know, that is that really. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple, pretty easy um, to make. All the files are available down below. There'll be a blog post for it as well. Um, the only files will be the Gerber files. <laughs> there will be no microcontroller files. Um, but yeah, it's quite easy, quite cheap to make. Fun, fun with the kids. And uh, yeah, all the details are on my blog. Thanks for watching. Bye.